What is going on, Sax family? How are you doing today? Hope you're having a fantastic day. You got a smile on your face and you're ready for a brand new video. Right now, I'm actually shutting off all my lights here in the apartment. I'm getting ready to head back to Lacey Township. I'm leaving Glassboro for the night. I'm actually gonna go spend the night at my parents' house and then tomorrow, go visit my mom in the hospital. For those that didn't see my last video, I found out that my mom had to get surgery. I don't know what it was for that she had to get surgery, but I do know like last week she was experiencing some stomach pains and I, I hope my mom is all right and I just I wish my family would have told me that she had to get surgery instead of telling me after the fact that she got surgery real quick if you're not yet subscribed do me a favor hit that subscribe button turn on post notifications to never miss out on a brand new video also follow all my social medias to basically get an update what's going on in my life I know I haven't really been posting much guys there's just been so much going on and uh, I'm gonna change that I'm gonna make sure I start getting more videos out for you guys for you guys to enjoy all right, so we got my bag packed, and then we got some dirty laundry for me to actually do when I get back. Uh, I want to be a little quiet because I think my roommate and her boyfriend are sleeping. I don't know, like, I really want to, like, you know, do a wake-up prank one day on them, but uh, I guess I got to be quiet about that because sometimes they watch my videos. So, yeah, I'm not going to do a wake-up prank on them. Okay, time to lock the place up. Oh, wait, that is the wrong key. Let's put the correct key in. Put my mailbox key in. Are none of my keys up? <laughs> That's why my key was upside down and boom, apartment is locked. I am uh, basically ready to go. I was gonna go get my mom some flowers because tomorrow is Valentine's Day, but it is kind of late, so no places are open. So in the morning, I'm gonna go get my mom some flowers, a teddy bear. I don't know, some stuff to like, you know, show my mom that I care for her, that I love her, and uh, yeah, and go surprise her in the hospital on Valentine's Day. Just got to my car. I got to put the laundry over there. But I was just thinking about it because tomorrow is Valentine's Day. And I'm going to a hospital on Valentine's Day. It just brought back some bad memories. Uh, for those that don't know, about 14 years ago, on the 19th, it would be 14 years, my dad passed away from cancer. And uh, <laughs> the last time I actually saw my dad alive was in the hospital on February 14th, Valentine's Day. It's one of the reasons why I personally dislike Valentine's Day. And uh, I'm, I don't know if I'm ready to actually, I just, it just hit me. I don't know if I'm ready to go into a hospital on the 14th of February, Valentine's Day, the same day that was the last time I ever saw my dad alive five days before he passed away. But now this time to go see my mom after she's basically out of a surgery. Yo, I swear there's a UFO guys. I haven't seen this like just flying around for the like last 10 minutes just circling. It could be a plane, but I don't know, man, it looks weird. It's officially Valentine's Day, which means I have to go in the store and get my mom some flowers. Okay, back from inside the store, I got my mom some, uh, some things, you know, cause I am her favorite child. I got her a balloon that says, I love you. Got her really nice orange uh, flowers. And then right in here, we got a bear, a nice little stuffed bear for my mom right here. Also comes with a box of chocolate, but the thing is, I don't know if she could actually eat that just yet. Well, here we are guys, arriving to the hospital. Actually, this is the same hospital I went to when I injured my shoulder. As much as I want to be able to take my Sony inside, it's too big, so in this pocket, I got my G7X, and uh, like I said, I got my mom a balloon, which is pretty cool some flowers and a bear and uh she's somewhere in there yeah my mom is somewhere in this building so what i'm gonna do is get all this stuff go inside and go see her actually when i was pulling up funny enough i ran into my stepfather my awesome stepfather jim and i was like oh hey what a coincidence i knew he was here i didn't know he was leaving so it's kind of a perfect timing where he's leaving and i'm coming to see my mom but with all that being said guys i'll see you inside up to the second floor, I had to get this little thing on my stomach, and yeah. Guess who? Hi. Hi. Happy Valentine's Day, I got you some stuff. <laughs> Don't cry. Here. Don't cry. <laughs> what? Ow. It just hurts that bad you have to cry. Because <laughs> I'm trying to laugh and not crying. That's very sweet for you. You're welcome. Got to do something for my favorite mother, my only mother. Thank you. 
Yeah. Well, I'm always mad. <laughs> so what do you get surgery for? Um, Your stomach? Because all that stomach pain? Yeah, I have an emergency hysterectomy. I don't know what that is, but that sounds it's painful. Take out all your baby making parts. Oh. There was um a tumor in there. It's okay. It's, it's not cancer. It's not cancer. Thank God. And that's what caused all my stomach pain, not being able to eat. So that's the pain you had like a few weeks ago when I was visiting. Yeah, well, I've had it for a long time, but that's what it was, and it just got worse and worse and worse. Oh, damn, well, you know, I'm just gonna put this out for now so we can just catch up. Sorry the lighting isn't the greatest in here, guys, but you just missed a great moment. My mom just farted, apparently, for the first time since she got surgery, and her reaction was the best. She was like, ooh, that just felt so good. <laughs> it did. Oh, my goodness. What did you say? Uh, thank, oh, you. thank you. thank you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Mary, and Jesus. Joseph. <laughs> I'm not that religious, but that felt so good. You seem so excited just to fart. <laughs> I am, did you know what? There's not so much more... There's... Is that what that medicine they gave you? Yeah. The pressure isn't as bad now. Oh, so now you're able to fart. Yeah, because I wasn't able to fart. You want to know who you told me a few vlogs ago, Mom? Fiber. You need better fiber. I eat fiber. I just haven't been able to have as much fiber because I'm in here. <laughs> But I had, oh, I had a spider dish yesterday. Dad and Aunt Mo were like, um, yeah, we're leaving. I'm like, I'm not going to be able to fart. Aunt Mo was here? She's been here every day. Has she been here yet today? No, she's working. Ah, uh, so there's a chance I might see her. Um, slim to... Slim to none. Just been sitting here off vlog, talking to my mom, catching up, seeing how she's been. Obviously, she hasn't been that great because she's in the hospital. She needed to get that emergency surgery. Anyways, though, I want to thank all of you guys so much for all the love and support you guys showed on the last video for my mom in the comment section. I Thanks, know it means guys. a lot to her. Well, sorry. Thanks, guys. I truly appreciate it. It made me feel good to see that the Sexton squad is... Um, family. <laughs> family. Squad, Sexton family, guy. everything. That you guys actually pay attention to the videos and send support my way. And it's helping me heal quickly. Aw. Thank you. Well, anyway, guys, do me a favor real quick. While you're watching this video, drop a like on it for my mom. Hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications to never miss out on a brand new video. I yes? have a story for you. What's up? So, between having surgery and when I was on the table, I stopped breathing. Wait, what? Yeah, apparently I stopped breathing when I sleep. So last night, I had to sleep with this stupid machine and reading my my oxygen level and once again i stopped breathing while i'm sleeping that's so, not good no it's not good why why do you gotta tell me that now oh so after i get released from here i have to come back in like a day or two and have a sleep test oh shoot yeah so hopefully hopefully i'll be able to breathe when i sleep yeah that's not good not being able to breathe when you sleep you need to be able to breathe so Jeez, true. don't don't keep scaring me like this, Mom. I'm sorry. Especially because of the time of the year right now. I am. No, I'm not doing Because you know the last time I came to the hospital on the 14th of February. I am. It was 2005. And that was the last day I saw my father alive, so. Guys, the camera battery is about to die on this camera. I'm going to say goodbye to my mom. I've been here for like two hours now, so. Mom, I love you. Mm -hmm. I love oh, I'm too. sorry if that I hurt you there. It's okay, I'm just stretching. It hurts to stretch in my Why does your mouth smell like peanut butter, by the way? Because Dad gave me these for... Ah, uh, that would make sense. They're well, the best things ever. I love you and... I love you too. Feel better, Mother. I will see you sometime. Sometime. Sometime in the future. Who knows? Well, just leaving the hospital. It was nice getting to see my mom and getting to talk with her. I also found out off vlog. She's getting discharged from the hospital tomorrow, which is great. It's good news. Uh, I'm glad everything's fine. And I'm also glad she's not going to be having those stomach pains anymore, which was actually hurting her really bad. 
I honestly don't know what's going on with the rest of my day, but whatever happens, I'll make sure I vlog it for you guys. I do quickly want to apologize for my last vlog. Apparently there was a glitch in the video where it kept having like the first like thing you see on my vlog keep popping up for the first three minutes. Uh, I had no clue about that until this morning. I checked some of the comments and also my friend uh, Yeggs messaged me in a text. He's like, yeah, dude, blah, blah, blah. I was like, oh, weird. Uh, I watched it back on mobile on my phone, no issue. I watched it back on the PC version of YouTube noticed it and I was like well it's too late to already take this video down and then I also checked out my uh, raw file and the raw file was completely fine so like it did not pop up at all for the first uh, few minutes like everybody was saying on the raw file itself so honestly I want to say it was more of a YouTube glitch than an editing program kind of thing I'll show you guys later when I do get back to my parents house where my computer is but 100% I do believe it was actually a YouTube glitch and not an editing error at all ain't this a parody truck right here yeah I'm actually at my friend George's house came to visit him he just got off of work so I figured you know what why not stop by see how my friend George is actually doing today is the door open can I come in? Yeah, come in here. Just don't go in the house. Oh, why? What's in the house? What do you think's in the house? Dog's sick, remember? Uh, yeah. That's not good. Speaking of dogs, dude, look at that puppy! What? Don't ask how I got that one. How'd you get that one? Troy got it for me. Aww. Uh, whatever happened to Troy? Uh... <laughs> yeah, we don't talk about that. Hey, George. What? what kind of project do you have going on in your backyard here? I thought there was a chicken coop here. Was. Now it's going to be a pigeon loft when I get done with it. What happened to the chickens? Uh, they all died. Oh, so you ate all your chickens. Well, this looks nice. A pigeon coop? I mean, this. are you selling this place? Like, can people move in in there? Yeah, if you want to live with pigeons, go ahead. I, I don't want to actually live with pigeons, so. What are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, what do you think I'm doing? It's called trimming. What are you trimming? Oh my god. Are you trimming wood, George? That was not really a straight cut, buddy. Yeah, I know. I don't really care. It's all getting sealed up once I'm done. I mean, but still, that that it's all I could getting, have done a better job it's than all that. All getting sealed up, and then at work because where I work, they have a bunch of leftover shingles. The entire thing's getting reshingled. So. But I know. Okay, I get your dude. Like, look at that. Like, look. There, there's a hole, dude. There's a hole inside. Like, I could go inside right now um, and be Jeff, able to look outside that Jeff, hole. Yes. If you come to the backside, there's no screws in any of the plywood in the back. Uh, you should do that. Hey George, I'd hate to be that guy, but uh, you oh, got another hole right there. Give me that camera. No. Oh, hey, yo, bro, bro, that that's too close. All right. George the Builder, can he fix it? Yes, he can. Right, George? I'm gonna throw something at you. No, you're not. Yes, I am. You got nothing to throw at me. I got a screwdriver in my hand. Ah, that would hurt. Well, since I'm now back to my parents' house, I want to show you guys the raw file from my last video and about how that glitch has to be a YouTube error. So as you guys can see, this was the thing that kept popping up. Make sure to watch it all the way to the end. But as you can see on the raw file, it just doesn't happen, right? It would have popped up by now. See? So, point proven, that was a YouTube error for some reason on my vlog. Basically kept that same thing popping up and up and up for the first three minutes, which I still don't understand because I can go on the YouTube app on my phone and it'll still not show up. Okay, so here's the video on the YouTube Studio app. So the app where you basically go in and you can just do YouTube related stuff. See? Nothing is popping up at all. But it happened apparently on PC and regular mobile where it just it'll pop up with the make sure to watch the end. So to be honest guys, I have no clue what it is. I, I want 100% say it was a YouTube glitch. It was a glitch with the YouTube system in general. And with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, do me a favor, slap it back and forth with that like button. Hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications to never miss out on a brand new video. Also, once again, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for all the positive uh, comments and support from my mom on the previous video. It does mean the world to me, and I know it means the world to her. So, Saxon family, I love you guys, and I'm going to see you next time. Peace.